Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. Today we are going to discuss double line to ground fault, okay? Or we can say it as LLG fault, okay? Here I have shown one analog generator showing LLG fault. LLG fault means two lines are short circuited or two phases are short circuited and the short circuited terminal is grounded. See, we, here we can see phase B and phase C short circuited that means this in LL fault this was our fault current but here this is our fault current instead of this thing this is our fault current why because the total current is flowing to the ground this is nothing but our fault current and the expression for fault current will be from this terminal if we apply KCL ID plus IC will be IF ID plus IC will be IF so our fault current is this thing now let's define our boundary conditions from this figure itself we can clearly say that the value of ia will be zero the same scenario as we have discussed in ll fault line to line fault we have already discussed why this ia comes to zero so the first boundary condition is ia equal to zero and one more thing is that in ll fault we have one boundary condition which is vb equal to vc but that value is not equal to zero but here the value will be zero why because the phase b and phase c terminal is grounded grounded means vb equal to zero vc equal to zero so this is the another boundary conditions to define llg fault now using these boundary conditions let's analyze the llg fault so first i'm using the voltage boundary condition from the symmetrical component analysis we know how to write va naught va1 and va2 okay and from this equation vb 1 by 3 multiplied by VA plus VB plus VC and what is the value for VB and VC? VB and VC equal to 0 that means VA naught equal to VA by 3. Same way in the equation for VA1 and VA2 these two terms will cancel why because VB and VC equal to 0 so all the threes sequence components so all the three voltage sequence component has got same value which is equal to va by 3 if we remember the formulas in lg fault there we have derived ia not equal to ia 1 equal to ia 2 which is equal to ia by 3 but in llg fault voltage terms are becoming zero and now we have to analyze these two terms separately now let's analyze these two terms separately and we have to derive a formula for ia1 okay now we are going to equate va not equal to va1 and va2 equal to va1 okay from the sequence network of generator we have the equation for va naught and va1 what is that va naught equal to minus ia naught into z naught and va1 equal to ea minus ia1 into z1 from these two relations we can derive an equation for ia naught ia naught equal to minus this minus i am taking to the rhs of rhs of this equation minus of ea minus ia one by z1 divided by this z naught i am taking to the denominator okay same way va2 equal to va1 and va2 equal to minus ia2 into z2 and va1 equal to ea minus ia1 into z1 and from this we have gotten a relation for ia2 okay ia2 is equal to minus of this term divided by z2 i am taking to the denominator okay and what is the other boundary condition 
we have already used vb equal to 0 and vc equal to 0 the one which is left over is what ia equal to 0 and what is the value of ia we know ia equal to ia1 plus ia2 plus ia0 which is equal to 0 from the boundary condition okay so here I even am writing as it is instead of IA2 and IA0 I am substituting the values we have already derived over here ok. What is the value for IA2? IA2 equal to this one the same thing I have wrote over here this minus is nothing but this one ok and same way IA0 is equal to this relation. Now, from this equation, if we notice, there is only IA1 terms. There is only IA1 terms. So, by simplifying this equation, we could get a relation for IA1. Let us see what is the relation. Here, I have only seen the simplification part of this equation. Okay. Here, First, in the first step, I took IA1 as common, okay, and in the bracket, 1 minus of minus is plus Z1 divided by Z2. Here, minus of minus is plus Z1 divided by Z0, okay, and next, EA part minus of EA divided by Z2 minus of EA divided by Z0 which is equal to 0 and in the second step I am taking the EA part to RHS of this equation ok. So that is IA1 multiplied by 1 plus here Z1 is common in these two terms so I took Z1 as common in the bracket 1 divided by Z2 plus 1 divided by Z0 which is equal to EA ea common okay the rest term is 1 divided by z2 plus 1 divided by z0 okay and here 1 by z2 plus 1 by z0 taking the lcm and cross multiplication i have just wrote the, instead of this term i wrote this equation this term that is the only difference between these two steps okay the next step is that for these two terms also I am taking the cross multiplication ok that is Z0 into Z2 plus Z1 into Z0 plus Z2 divided by Z0 into Z2 will be the LCM which is equal to EA multiplied by Z0 plus Z2 divided by Z0 Z2 and here Z0 and Z2 common in two parts and I am cancelling each other and the rest of the terms I am keeping IA1 over the LHS side and taking all the terms to the denominator that is IA1 equal to EA multiplied by Z0 plus Z2 divided by this term ok and here we should notice something is that Z0 plus Z2 2 is in the numerator. This term I am going to take into the denominator. If we take into the denominator, see we should divide all the, these two terms with this term. We should divide these two terms with this thing. That means EA divided by Z0, Z2 divided by Z0 plus Z2 plus these two terms will cancel each other if we took this term to the denominator of this term ok that is Z1 only this is the final equation for our IA1 that is IA1 equal to EA divided by Z0 Z2 divided by Z0 plus Z2 plus Z1 ok the next thing is that we should draw is interconnection of sequence networks to illustrate this LLG fault. From this relation we come to know that if we connect two resistors in parallel, two resistors in parallel and one resistor in series, what is the effective resistance value? Say this be R1, this be R2 and R0. First we took the equivalence of this part that is R0, R2 divided by R0 plus R2 which is in series with 
R1. The same relation is we have got over here. That means here we have to connect Z0 and Z2. That is zero sequence and negative sequence part in parallel. And this combination should be in series with positive sequence network. That means positive sequence network should be connected in series with the combination of zero sequence and negative sequence network parallel combination. Let's have a look on that. From the interconnection of sequence networks for LLG fault, if we have noticed this is two terminals across these two terminals negative sequence and zero sequence networks are connected that means these two networks are in parallel and which is connected in series with positive sequence network okay that is this is the voltage va1 va2 and va0 all these three voltage values are equal equal okay the terminals across the networks are connected are same only or we can say va1 equal to va2 equal to va0 this is the one of the boundary conditions we have derived right so if we find the value for ia1 IA1 is equal to what is the voltage source in this network which is EA. EA divided by the total impedance value. The total impedance value means Z2 and Z0 are in parallel which is connected in series with Z1. Z0 and Z2 parallel means the effective resistance is Z0 Z2 divided by Z0 plus Z2 which is in series with Z1. These two conditions are we have already divided and is in perfect match with this network. Okay. One more thing is that we should derive a relation for IA equal to 0. How we will find this is IA1 and this is IA2 this is IA0. If we apply KCL at this node, we have IA1 plus IA2 plus IA0 equal to 0, which is nothing but our IA. This value, A, this value is nothing but our IA, IA equal to 0. So, all of the boundary conditions are checked and verified with this network. Okay. And one more thing is that if somebody asks to find the value for IA0, how we will find IA0 equal to apply current division rule. Current division rule, this is the total current IA1. So, total current IA1 multiplied by impedance of the other branch. Um, impedance of the other branch means Z2 divided by total impedance Z2 plus Z0. But one thing we should notice that here the direction of current is like this and here it is reverse of the current passing through this branch. That means we should take negative sign across this IA1. Okay, minus of IA1 into Z2 divided by Z2 plus Z0. This is the value for IA0. Okay, so the next thing we should derive is fault current, the value of fault current. For the calculation of fault current and neutral current from the first figure itself, from the first figure of LLG fault itself, we know what is the value for fault current which is equal to IB plus IC. And if we have seen this neutral current IN, IN equal to we know neutral current equal to sum of all the current passing through all three phases that is IA plus IB plus IC. And from the boundary conditions IA equal to 0 that means IN is also equal to IB plus IC. So, if we derive the value of fault current means in case of LLG fault the value will be same as that of neutral current. Okay. So, now we will look on the value for IB and IC. 
ഐ ബി ഈക്വൽ ടു ഐ എ നോട്ട് പ്ലസ് എ സ്ക്വയർ ഐ എ വൺ പ്ലസ് എ ഐ എ നോട്ട് ഫ്രം സിമെട്രിക് കമ്പോണൻ്റ് ട്രാൻസ്ഫർമേഷൻ ഓക്കെ സെയിം വേ ഐ സി ഈക്വൽ ടു ഐ എ നോട്ട് പ്ലസ് എ ഐ എ വൺ പ്ലസ് എ സ്ക്വയർ ഐ എ ടു ഹിയർ ടു ഐ എ നോട്ട്സ് ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് ടു ഐ എ നോട്ട് ഓക്കെ ഐ എ വൺ ഐ എ വൺ കോമൺ സോ ഐ എ വൺ ഇൻ ടു എ സ്ക്വയർ പ്ലസ് എ ഐ എ ടു ഐ എ ടു സോ ഐ എം ടേക്കിംഗ് ഐ എ ടു ആസ് കോമൺ എ സ്ക്വയർ പ്ലസ് എ ആൻഡ് ഫ്രം ദി ഐഡൻറ്റിറ്റി ഫ്രം ദ ഐഡൻറ്റിറ്റി ഓഫ് കോംപ്ലെക്സ് ഓപ്പറേറ്റർ വൺ പ്ലസ് എ പ്ലസ് എ സ്ക്വയർ ഈക്വൽ ടു സീറോ ഓർ വി ക്യാൻ സേ എ പ്ലസ് എ സ്ക്വയർ ഈക്വൽ ടു മൈനസ് വൺ സോ ഐ എം റീപ്ലേസിംഗ് ദിസ് ടേം വിത്ത് മൈനസ് വൺ ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് ടു ഐ എ നോട്ട് മൈനസ് ഐ എ വൺ minus i a2 okay and from the boundary condition we know i a equal to 0 what is the value of, of i a i a not plus i a1 plus i a not i a2 which is equal to 0 or we can say i a not equal to minus i a1 plus minus i a2 so this term also i am replacing with i a not in the uh, next step so the final value for fault current if is 2 i a not plus i a not that means 3 i a not and in case of llg fault neutral current and fault current equal means the value will be 3 i a not and the value of i a not also we have derived from the sequence network itself which is equal to minus i a1 into set2 divided by set2 plus set0 okay so this is about llg fault we will meet with in another lecture in 